Okay, we're going to look at uh, finding solving simultaneous equations using matrices. So if you have a set of simultaneous equations, 2x plus 3y equals 5 and 3x minus 5y equals 17, we could change that left-hand side and write that left-hand side as a column vector, just as 2x plus 3y in the top row and then 3x minus 5y in the bottom row. We could also write that whole thing as a 2 by 2 matrix upon xy. So if you have a look at this, and you multiply this out, it will take you back to this. So just try that for yourself and show that it works. But in general, if you have any two pairs of simultaneous equations, so I'm just going to write down two random things. I'll write down minus x plus 4y uh, equals 10, and 6x minus 2y equals 5. Probably don't work, doesn't matter, we're just doing this to show. But I could write, rewrite those as being, that, that really is a minus 1 in front of the x, so minus 1. And it's a 4 and then we have a 6 and then we have a minus 2 so that's just going to be in here that's just going to be 6 and minus 2 and then upon x y is equal to column vector 10 5 so you need to be able to do uh, to do that that's the first part of this process and then you can go on from there and do the rest so here we go back to this one that we had. We had 2, 3, 3, minus 5 upon x, y is equal to 5, 17. So what you want to do is, first of all, we want to get rid of this thing in front of the x, y. So we're going to do that by multiplying by the inverse. So very similar to the, uh, what we did in the last video. So the inverse of this thing, leading diagonal will be 5 times minus, uh, sorry, 2 times minus 5, take away 3 times 3. So it's going to be minus 10, minus 9, which is minus 19. So one, this is 1 over the determinant. And switch the elements in the lead diagonal and change the sign of the other elements. Okay, this bit really you're cheating. So I would leave this line out to be honest. I, I you know the inverse times this thing is just equal to one zero uh, one zero zero one, which is the identity. The right hand side you do have to work it out. So we've now put the inverse in front on the left hand side, and you, then you have to put the inverse in front on the right hand side as well. So one over minus nineteen upon minus 5, minus 3, minus 3, 2, and then that gets multiplied by your column vector, 5, 17. And when you do that out, you'll get minus 17, 19, and then that's multiplied by 1 over minus 19. And then minus 19 goes into minus 73, 4 times, minus 19 goes into 19, minus 1 times. So therefore your x equals 4 and your y equals minus 1. So it's important to put in that wee line as well. Okay, we're going to go on down and look at an example for ourselves. Uh, so it says, using the matrix method solve, and um, we've got uh, 3x minus y is equal to 1, and then we have 2x plus 3y is equal to 19. So the first thing we're going to do is rewrite this in matrix form. So it becomes 3 minus 1 and 2, 3 on the bottom. And then that is multiplying my x, y, and that's going to be equal to 1 and 19. So let's just look at that. That was my 3x minus 1 uh, equals 3x minus y equals 1, and that's my 2x plus 3y equals 19. There's my two equations. Okay, first thing we're going to do is I'm going to call this equation 1, as I will refer back to it. And um, we'll see. Well, I may not refer back to it. We may be okay without that, but it's just good practice to do that, just in case you do refer back to it. But I'm just going to find the inverse. Uh, inverse is equal to. So oh, here, well, sorry, I'll squeeze in my determinant first of all. Find my determinant is going to be three times three, minus minus one times two. Three times three is nine. And minus 1 times 2 is minus 2, and then that's minus 1, so that's going to be 9 plus 2, which is going to be 11. So my inverse is 1 over 11, and all I'm doing here is changing the things in the lead diagonal, the elements in the lead diagonal, changing the sign of everything else, and that's what you get. Okay, so we'll just say rewrite equation 1 as 1 over 11 times 3, 1 minus 2, 3, times 3 minus 1, 2, 3 times xy is equal to, um, very important here, I put the inverse in front on the left hand side, so the inverse has to go in front on the right hand side, remember order of multiplying uh, matrices matters, 
So we have 3, 1, minus 2, 3, and then that's times 1 and 19. I have run out of space, unfortunately, I'll go up top. Now, this is where I cheat, and I don't bother actually working this thing out because we know the inverse times the matrix just gives you your identity. So just do that, just write it down as the identity, save yourself a wee bit of time and effort. Uh, 1, 0, 0, 1, and then that's times my xy. And then that is going to be equal to 1 over 11. And it's going to be a column vector. So how I'm getting these things here. First rule, first column, 3 times 1 is 3. 1 times 19 is uh, 19. 3 plus 19 is going to give you 22. Oh, happy days. This is, might be a nice one for us. And next one is, this is my second row, first column. So second row times first column. Minus 2 times 1 is minus 2. 3 times 19 is going to be 57, and then that is going to be, what have I said, minus 2, that's going to be minus 55, so, or sorry, 55, and that's, oop, that's what we've got, so that's just a 55, and luckily this works out very nicely, so you have got xy, is equal to everything here is divisible by 11 so that's just going to be 2 and 5 final answer therefore your x is equal to 2 and your y is equal to 5 and that's it okay you're now ready to start your last matrices exercise it's exercise 11 it's the odds if you have any problems give us a shout thank you